An iPad is a neat little device, compact, easy to carry, very efficient that can last for decades. In the last video, we discussed if the iPad is really necessary for MPPS. Continuing ahead with the series, I'll tell you how I use this iPad to make notes and manage my studies with it. I am Abhijit, a final year medical student from GMC Nagpur. Let's begin. Life is meant to be simple and so should be your iPad wallpaper. Yes, I am starting from the most basic because it really really matters in the long run. Every time you open your iPad, the wallpaper is the first thing that you see. So make sure you keep it simple and motivational. And this is my wheel of fire. Now let's talk about the most important part of the video. That is all the apps that medical students must have on their iPad. I have divided them into groups for a better understanding of the workflow. Let's first talk about the uncertainty that gives me nightmares every day. That is preparation for the next PG exam. The apps I use for the preparation are DAMS, Marrow and Pre-PG. This is not at all a sponsored video so I'll tell you everything about how I use each and every app. First of all I started with DAMS from second year itself and I use that app for watching video lectures, solving tests, question banks, everything. That was my primary app. But in around the end of third year I guess I got down to peer pressure because everyone around me was using Marrow and so I thought hmm what's so special in this app. So I got Marrow Plan B which has question banks and tests and I use that app to solve all the questions. But in the end I thought yeah, these questions are not enough. I need to solve more. And that's why I got PreePG, which is an app on a cheaper side that gives all the clinical weakness that are essential for the next PG. And that's how I use all these three apps. Unfortunately, they are not free, they are paid. So make your own decision and get one of them. Now let's go to the topic of note taking. The apps that I use for note taking are Good Notes, Notability, OneNote, Notes, Telegram. How Telegram? Telegram is the place I download all the medical books and notes from. Let's get back to notes. When I first bought this iPad, I started taking notes on the default notes app. I still use this notes app but for a much more rough purposes of scribbling here and there, maybe uh, noting down a few points by reading the textbook or something like that. The next app that I used for notes was OneNote. It is a very good app with very great pens, colors, writings, pages etc. But the only problem that I feel OneNote has is that after a long length, it hangs. I cannot write a 500 page book in OneNote. So currently I am using OneNote especially for tree diagrams and connect the dots and stuff like that to make sure my learning is a bit easier on the long run and to make sure it is easier to revise with exams, practicals etc on the head. After 2-3 to three months I got that okay OneNote is not good for me. Then I shifted to the next app. That is good notes good notes is the app that i primarily use right from reading textbooks to writing notes to making books everything this app it has a very easy workflow with a lot of options for pens and it does not hang like good notes it is a paid app and it has a one-time subscription but it is not that expensive i think it will be very worth it as it is a one-time purchase i'll show you a few of my notes just to get an idea of how powerful this app is the bestest notes that i have made till now are of pharmacology i'll tell you the overview of how i'm making notes in this app first of all i'm using different sets of colors to highlight different things usually my headings are of pink in color or red in color something bright to catch the eye the rest of the matter is of navy blue in color and purple in color because i read in one of the research papers that navy blue or purple or any shades of blue are better memorized than black color other things like something that i can forget are green in color basically it's a mixture so that i'm myself entertained while reading these notes you know reading should be fun so why not make it colorful that's what my point is yes it took me a lot lot of time to make these notes i think i spent the most time making this pharmacology notes but the end result is amazing. Well, if you want these notes, please email me on abhijitarkayus.gmail.com. Good notes was such a great app. So why did I get another one? That is Notability. Let's go to that. To be completely honest, I got Notability because it was on sale at that time and it was a one-time purchase. Right now, Notability has an yearly subscription, which I think is a bit expensive. So I prefer Good Notes over Notability. The main use that I have of Notability is clicking photos of the documents and making them into last minute readable notes because writing every time can be a very tedious job especially if it is for tables and flowcharts that are already present in the textbook so why not just take a pic and put it in notability that's what i use it for but if you ask for my suggestion go for good notes it's going to be enough for you 
okay that's enough for note taking i know there is a lot lot to tell but this video is dedicated for all the apps that i'm using on ipad so the next set of apps are for focus there are a lot of apps that help you in managing your distractions and help you focus better first of all inform your parents and friends that you are about to study well maybe make a broadcast or group on whatsapp and tell them and keep your phone in airplane mode dnd mode any mode that helps you stay away from the phone and then and then only go for these apps and their ipad the apps that i currently use for focusing are flip clock spotify google meets zoom meet flip clock is a free app that has advertisements it is basically a pomodoro timer that is very very simple and well it's just a timer app that's all that is but it is very effective in managing my studies especially if i have to study for shorter durations and for multiple subjects for those i usually set my timer to 30 minutes i select a subject i read it for 30 minutes once the timer is up i close the book take a 5 minute break in the next 30 minutes i get another subject and do the same that way i can revise multiple subjects in the same day and it does not clog my brain the next app that i use is spotify i have a premium subscription of spotify which is student version of like 59 rupees per month and i think it is very affordable i usually use it for chilling study music etc etc chill lofi study beats is my favorite playlist for study music it helps me focus a lot and i remember focusing for straight 4 hours by just this playlist and of course i did not sleep i studied okay well that's all for spotify so how did i use google meet and zoom meet in studies i found this idea very effective especially during the pandemic when i was at home and i was seriously lacking motivation that's when my friends helped me i just google meet them we sit together for like half an hour to one hour and study and whenever i feel like yaar motivation nahi aa raha yaar distraction ho raha hai yaar meri ichha hi nahi hai i look at my friends and see ye log pad rahe hain bhai apna bhi future banana hai and then i indulge myself in studies as well well that's how you can use google meet you can try zoom meet as well if you are more number of people other things you can do it on are lecture studies etc etc it is up to your imagination how you want to use it okay studies to bahut ho gayi what else can you do on ipad as a medical student the main thing that you should do as a medical student are side hustles because studies in the medical field are really really draining so this is a very important part of my life and i think you should try it as well the side hustle need not be for money or fame or anything it just something that you use to fuel your mind so that you know that there is a world outside these books for me the apps that i use for side hustle that is youtube are youtube studio luma fusion canva and notion I can talk for lengths about Notion and maybe I'll do it in some other video. For now you just need to know that Notion is an app that helps me organize a lot of things. Even while making this video all the important points that I have are added in this Notion app. I think I'll give you a bit of a demo about this app. This is my Notion home page. I call myself Sunday at work on Notion for no particular reason at all. Well in this I divided my life into many pages every page signifies a part of my life like this page signifies what I do on Instagram academy med visit etc then there are youtube scripts that I'm not going to tell you because it will reveal my future videos and I don't want to spoil the surprises notion is basically an app that you can organize your life into it basically acts as a second brain and helps you keep tab of studies recreation youtube instagram anything that you're doing in your life i usually feed it my personal thoughts i use it as my personal diary i use it as my youtube script writer and basically anything that i think my brain will clog into whatever it is in here i put it in notion that's all it is a very powerful app and it is free for one user i know it is a bit hard to master but once you are good at it you'll rock next and last category that i want to discuss with you about the apps on my ipad is recreation for recreation i use apps like youtube tumblr pinterest books and facebook Facebook is an app that I don't use very much and YouTube is for YouTube stuff like anime stand up comedy a video here and there my own study with me videos maybe and the video that you are watching right now stuff like that books app is for books like any other app adobe reader pdf reader drive etc the most recreational time that i spend is on three apps that is tumblr pinterest and reddit i am an avid reader and i like to read anything from books facts thoughts etc and tumblr is a place where every weird meme fact etc is there and it sort of feeds my imagination and helps me keep out of touch of reality this is an imaginary place for me where anything weird can happen pinterest is where i get all the quotes happiness mindfulness wealth etc and a lot of cute cat pictures that i really love watching 
Reddit is the app that I use when I need guidance for how to use MacBook, how to use iPad, how to record a video, how to edit it, etc. It's sort of a collection of people that help other people in doing little little things. So this is the set of all the apps that I'm using that I found throughout the three years of using the iPad and four years of being in MBBS and six years of studying for this grueling course and 22 years of my life. I think that's a lot of time so you can definitely trust the credibility of the video. Last but not the least is a warning that I want to give you. That is, technology is a useful servant but a very dangerous master. We already live in a cyberpunk world and this is an early stage. Facebook has already launched Metaverse where you can actually enjoy the 4D games like the Sword Art Online. Then there is Elon Musk working on Neuralink where you can feed your brain into the games. Well, it is still in infantile stages but I think in our lifetime we are definitely going to experience something like Sword Art Online. Or I am hoping for that. My point is that even though technology is so advancing and it is so useful, most of us including me just use it to waste our time into nothing. I definitely did not mention an app on Instagram because I don't keep it on my iPad, I keep it on my mobile because it is a very, very, very time consuming app for me. I have set a timer for Instagram at around 30 minutes a day, but I usually end up going to one hour and I need to do something about it, but that's for later. My point being, technology is going to eat out your time if you don't use it in control. Even though I have this iPad for taking digital notes, I wrote around 19 books for the 19 subjects just to have a hard copy notes, physical notes. I know iPad notes are very easy to carry and they are very great, but I still love this paper and pen notes and I think having both of them in moderation is the best way. How are you going to figure it out? How to take notes? That is something I tell in detail, right from which pen to use, to which setting to do, etc, etc. But in the next video. This is all for this video. Keep on watching, keep on subscribing. This is me Abhijit and keep on studying. See you in the next video. Bye.